So this is my um, my art board, you know. You just buy these. I buy them from Michaels. I usually get them in big packs. And I started, it's still kind of drying. I've been drying it with a heat gun, but you know, it's quite a few layers here. And so I put a lot of layers in here and stuff. And <clears throat> the good thing is all these colors will go really good together when I build up on it. It's kind of cool, huh? Some really cool stuff. All right. I'll give you some more later. Okay, so this is what I've done. I put cheese cross, cheese cloth across the whole thing, and uh, I really pushed on it to dry. And I, as it was drying, and I was drying it, I was actually moving it back and forth so I could create these like ridges the way I wanted them to be, the movement that I felt I wanted on there. And so, um, yeah, and I'll get back to you. Oh, I wanted to show you this. So now I'm getting ready to ink my picture. I'll change the ink on it. I'll spray different ink colors on it. But um, I wanted to show you this makeshift right out of a paper bag. I do have a mastermind plan here. So it's right out of a paper bag, which we get so many of them. So I take it, and then on my workman station here, I leave a little ridge here so that that holds that edge up. And then I flap this down so it protects what's down there, just in case a drip, drip, it falls right off and down to the floor. And then there's the back, and I leave a little ledge here, you know. Uh, and then I take the other part of the bag that I ripped, and I put it behind, and I actually glued it on there. It's glued on there. And it covers everything behind there that I don't want to get inked up as much as I cannot get it inked up. <coughs> and then there's the edge of the bag. So that's my makeshift ink center. You can make your own or you can think of an idea and maybe magnify this one and let me know. Okay, layers of my ink now I've done. This is, I kind of done all these colors over here and I'll tell them to you in just a minute. And this is the colors I've got. So this one is, it's a red color and cherry pie red. And this one is Funky Fuchsia. And it's in the Delusions, that brand Delusions from uh, Michaels. And then I used a uh, Walnut Ink and the brand Imagine. And then I also used the uh, Walnut Ink in the uh, Walnut Color, um, Walnut Ink brand. And then I also used... Um, my own made color out of um, alcohol, which you just buy the um, Azorbotol alcohol. And then I used, um, uh, I used one of these colors. I used the acrylic colors here. This one is uh, native turquoise. I have a dark color blue that I know that I made and I'll have to get that color for you. And then I refurbished the terracotta, but this is walnut ink terracotta, but it's not what's on here. So I made my own terracotta out of um, this color right here which is called ground cinnamon and I could have got the uh, terracotta color but I don't have it right now and <clears throat> this is a blue color that's this one right here which is native turquoise I already told you and then I did my green and then of course I added more green uh, paint to it because uh, I added more alcohol to it so I added more but this is a delusion ink spray and it's um, it's the uh, I don't know what color oh fresh lime but I'm not using the fresh lime I turned it into <clears throat> a more of a mute green so all right so just look closely again kind of layered colors here we'll see how it comes I'm gonna dry it out now all right so I finished the inking of what I liked in the layers and changing and everything moving and heating them again and and as I would heat, sometimes I would actually like, because it would still be moist inside of the cheesecloth in some places, and if I still wanted more gaps in the uh, in this, you know, to make it more open here, and then tighter here, and you know, so you can move it around like that and change your picture, like draw it out with actually your finger or a tool or something. I use a tool sometimes. You know, and I brought it in tight and made like a little gap and gathered it together and um, wrapped it around the edge here. But I can cover this around with wood if I want or leave it. And I 
ink the sides of it and stuff and cut the layers that were hanging. And I, I pushed this up really nice and tight so 